in 2016, there were 647,435 people listed as missing. Let's take a look at 5 mysterious missing persons cases that baffled the police. Elijah Moore went missing on November 4th, 2016. He was last seen on a surveillance camera at a California check cashing. According to his mother, Alicia, they had just spoken on the phone while he was at the store. When her son didn't show up, Alicia called her good friend Andre. Andre told her that Elijah was supposed to meet up with him for his breakfast at work, but he couldn't get a hold of him. Andre made another attempt to get a hold of Elijah after work, but was still unsuccessful. Andre later received a text message from Elijah. The exact content of this message is unknown, but Andre was immediately suspicious. He screenshotted it and sent it to Alicia, who agreed it didn't sound like Elijah. What makes this case even more suspicious is that 25 days prior to the disappearance of Elijah Moore, another one of his friends, Enrique Rios, who attended the same school as Elijah, went missing. Interestingly, Enrique also sent a text message to his mom on the day of his disappearance saying he had accidentally slept over at a friend's house, but would be headed to school now. His mother claims this to be odd considering her son needed specific clothing for his work. Since he had left suddenly and in the middle of the night, she knew he didn't have any with him. A short while later, Enrique sent another text, this one much more despondent, claiming he was under too much pressure lately and needed to get away. He promised to return shortly. A follow-up call by Lola confirmed that Enrique never showed up at school. Who wrote these messages using their phone? Was it really the missing students writing to their respective mothers or someone else using their phones? Logan Schindelman was only 19 when he vanished. He was last seen on May 19, 2016. His last known location was in Tumwater, Washington. The strange part of this story was that on May 20th, Schindelman's convertible was found abandoned on Interstate 5. A few drivers called 911 after seeing the abandoned vehicle pulled onto the shoulder of the road. A man with light colored hair was seen jumping out of the vehicle, running into the nearby woods. Inside the vehicle, Logan's cell phone and wallet were still present. The last known conversation of Logan was with his grandmother to whom he confessed that he had an epiphany. A nude man was found running into the woods near where Logan's car was abandoned. Could it be him? Police have searched the woods with the use of canines, but no evidence of Logan was found. Caitlin Potts was a young woman in her late 20s who went missing on February 22, 2016. She was last seen at the Kilawana Mall the day before her disappearance. The police released the following security camera footage. Before her disappearance, she sent a message to her sister, Cody, stating, She found a ride to Calgary through Kijiji, a website similar to Craigslist. She texted her saying, coming back tonight for sure, though it's a possibility that Caitlin was killed on the way to Calgary by the person who posted the Kijiji ad. The police have made it clear that they have no evidence that Caitlin ever headed to Calgary. In fact, investigators believe Caitlin never left the area before her disappearance. Did someone use her phone to message her family to mislead the police? There were also reports stating that her boyfriend at the time, Jason Robert, had a violent relationship with Caitlin. Her sister claims there were days when Caitlin had bruises on her arms and was in tears. Regardless, Jason claims they were never together and that she only stayed over a few times at his place of residence. The police have not made a comment about whether Jason is a suspect in the disappearance or not. Caitlin is described as being incredibly smart, happy, outgoing, and family oriented. Bianca was last seen on May 1st, 2016. Her disappearance is debatably questioned whether it was intentional or forced because of her struggling marriage with her husband, Joe Daniel Corosco. Interestingly, Joe was Bianca's former uncle, whom she had married at the age of 18. He was 11 years older than her and was said to have married her as revenge against his ex-wife, who was Bianca's aunt. Despite that, the pair had three children together. Joe was said by family to be a known manipulator and isolated Bianca from her family. As Bianca became more independent and graduated as an RN, she planned to leave her husband, causing a bigger rift between the two. Bianca had listed on social media that she was divorced and began talking to other men before the marriage was officially over. An enraged Joe Daniel emptied all of their bank accounts, leaving Bianca penniless. 
The two had an argument and Bianca walks out, never to be seen again. Did Joe play a part in Bianca's disappearance? Or did she leave because there was no winning against him? Ariana Fitz disappeared at the age of two from Oakland, California. Ariana was being raised by her hardworking single mother. Since her mother was often working, Ariana was generally left in the care of her two babysitters. The babysitters became very close with Ariana and were distraught when they found out that her mother, Nicole, had planned on moving in with a co-worker. This upset them because they would not be able to see Ariana often. Nicole had disagreement with the babysitters when they took Ariana to Disneyland without receiving permission. Soon after the disagreement, on April 1st, 2016, Nicole made a withdrawal of $600 from an ATM. She informed her co-worker that she was going to meet the babysitter to pick up Ariana. Nicole's body was found violated at a park with a piece of plywood laying on top of her. The plywood had interesting markings on it, much like a logo of some sorts, and the police believed the suspect brought it with them. Could the plywood identify the killer and lead to the possible finding of Ariana Fitz? To this day, Ariana Fitz continues to be missing and her mother's murderer never identified. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more content. Don't forget to tell us what you think about these mysterious cases in the comments below.